And this is one of the biggest things that took me from zero to 100K a month. From the moment I paid Bob Proctor to my first $100,000 a month. So I, I started working with Bob in February. February, I started studying. February, March, April. April was my first $100,000 a month. But all of February, I was just studying. I didn't get any clients. I didn't get my first client until March. So between March and April, I had my first 100K month. And by the way, it was in a month, but I earned that in about 17 days. I didn't even earn 100,000 in five years. I think I earned like $80,000 across five years. And then I did that almost in a week, week and a half. How did that happen? Because what I'm gonna talk about here is called the quantum goal. What is a C-type goal? It's a quantum goal. Well, what does quantum mean? Who's ever heard the word quantum leap? Drop a three in the chat if you've ever heard the idea of a quantum leap. Quantum leap, well, what is a quantum leap? A quantum leap is going from the first floor to the penthouse. A quantum goal, or a quantum leap rather. A quantum leap is going from the first floor to the penthouse in the effortless way. So what I tell my clients is how can we turn your annual income into your monthly income in the effortless way? How can we double your income in the effortless way? I'm talking about putting in less effort of what you've done all year and putting that in a month with less effort, less time, less struggle, less stress. Because what happens is the traditional model of physics is very predictable. The reason that we're able to live stream on YouTube, have these lights, if you guys wanted to take a flight from wherever city you're in to Miami, traditional physics allows us to create predictability. We know that if we put you, know, put you in a plane from Dallas and then we fly this way, we know the, you know, physics, classical physics, that point A and point B, you're gonna move through space over time. Stay with me here. Traditional physics says that you're gonna get through space, you're gonna move matter through space or move your body through space over time. So what does that look like in your life? You're thinking, well, if I wanna double my income, that means I have to put in more hours. That means I have to do more calls. That means I have to do X, Y, Z. And that's not necessarily true. It can be if that's the way you wanna live life, but drop a three in the chat if you want to live in the effortless way. You want to do way less effort. I'm talking about you know 50 to 80% less effort and earn 10 times more. If that's something that you're looking for, then you're in the right place. So that's the traditional model of physics. And there's limitations to that. You can already start to hear that. There's constraints, time and space. So when you start to think in, the, in, in this normal world, guys, we're gonna get into some deep material over the next, I'm gonna keep it light for you guys on this call, but over the next coming weeks, we're gonna get into some deep stuff, quantum physics, quantum thinking, you know, moving your body through space, no time, you know, the quantum field, some really cool stuff. But when we get into the world of the quantum, there's no such thing as time and there's no such thing as space. I want you guys to think about this, whether you believe in God, it's irrelevant. Do you think God has 6 p.m.? You think it's 9.35 p.m. where God's hanging out? No, there's no such thing as time. Because there's no time and there's no space. There's only thinking or frequencies or levels of vibration. So, DeAndre, why are you throwing all this funny, weird lingo, quantum and physics, and I'm not here for that. I just want to make more money. But before you get into that, you have to start to think differently. Because what I'm teaching you right here is a way that you were not taught in school. You were not taught this, this information elsewhere. What I'm talking about is doubling your income or increasing your income in such a dramatic manner that there's no time and no space needed. It's the effortless way. Well, how do you begin to do that? Here's the word, let go and let God. You release your ego and you surrender the plan, the fantasy, what you want to power a power higher than you. I had no idea how I was gonna get to 100K a month but I believed it. I surrendered it to something bigger than me. And the way in which you surrender is very important. We'll talk about meditations, you know, and different strategies and techniques you can use to really embody the person, the version of the person you need to become so you can achieve that goal. And by the way, take a little break, hit that like button. Let's get the likes up. Let's share this. Go ahead and hit that like button. Let's get the likes up. Let's share this. Cause I'm dropping some sauce right now. Hope you guys are liking this. Now, hopefully I know you're liking it. I didn't know where I was, how I was gonna achieve my goal, but I surrendered it to the quantum field to something bigger, to God. Because if you allow your ego to get in there and create your plan, guess what? Well, we agree that God has a better plan for us than we have a plan for ourselves. Would you guys agree with me on that? Drop a yes in the chat if you would agree with me on that. When you start to let go and let God, what you're essentially saying is, here's the direction 
and I will allow you, source, quantum field, whatever, God, to make space for something better in my life. Here's the word, make space. You have to make space for what you want. Start to make space for it by giving up your power, giving up the ego, giving up the plan, probably, and you control freaks will probably be the first time in your life, but it's one of the most liberating things once you get over the edge. When you're when you're hitting it at first and your ego is like, ah, I need a plan, and it's and you, and you feel this control and you're, you're feeling this mental, spiritual battle, that's your ego. But when you surrender, it's the most liberating feeling. When you start to set what you want and you start to get emotionally involved in it. So let's talk about it. Number one, clear intention. So that's right in the goal card. Number two, you need an elevated emotion. So when you're gonna write this goal card, whatever you write on here, whatever income you wanna start earning per month, you must have emotion attached to it. And this is where um, I've, I wouldn't say I struggled, but where I missed the ball for a couple of years. Because I, when I went to zero to 100K a month, I didn't know, I didn't know anything. I was just starting out on the program. I was only on the fourth lesson out of 12 and everything changed for me. And over the last two years, I was trying to figure out what I did so I can duplicate it, not only myself to scale my business, but I can duplicate it in clients and people watching this call. What did I do to get to where I'm at? Because it wasn't just information that I needed. For many of you, just simply watching this call is not gonna change your life because you're gathering information in your conscious mind but it's not getting into that subconscious mind. But there's one language that the subconscious mind understands. You know what that is? Feeling. Feeling is the secret that will set you free. Starting to feel as if you've achieved your goal is something that will set you free and change your life. And the best way to do that is with meditation. So we're not gonna get into meditation on today's call, but guys, the meditations that I have been applying over my life over the last two weeks, let me tell you, I went to a meditation meditation retreat about two weeks ago with Dr. Joe Dispenza and it completely changed my life. I dedicate one hour each and every day to a deep meditation and becoming and feeling the version of the goal that I have. What does it look like? So my current goal card is to save a million dollars. I've earned a million dollars, but let me tell you this, being a, if you like nice things, drop, drop a four in the chat if you like nice things. Who, who, who are my people that like nice things? You like nice things. I like nice things. I like nice cars. I like shopping. I love dinners. I love all that. I love traveling. Guess what? Earning a million dollars is very, or saving a million is way different than earning a million dollars. Let me tell you that. So that's my goal. But most importantly, attached to this goal is not simply I want to look at a million dollars in my bank account. It's the feeling of freedom and abundance that comes along with it. So understand that when you write this goal and you start to write a fantasy goal, what you really want, what you really want is not the actual goal. It's the experience in the emotions that that goal will bring to you when you attain it. But who says, listen to me here, who says you can't feel the emotion of the experience now before you ever touch it? Let me repeat that one more time. Who said that we can't experience the emotion of our goal achieved now before we ever touch it in our hand? See, now we're starting to get into quantum, uh, the quantum physics and the ability to feel as if something is here before it ever touches us, before we ever see it. Because if you can see it in, in your mind, you can hold it in your hand. Most importantly, if you can feel it in your mind and feel it in your heart, then one day you become so close to your goal that there's no separation, there's no lack, there's no want, there's no try. It is here, it is done. 